everyone, Dr. Giselle here from Exert Clinic, and today we're gonna talk about exactly what liposuction is and what happens on liposuction day. On the day of your liposuction procedure, you should plan to arrive on time to your surgeon's office. Make sure that you have everything ready at home for after your procedure. That means having that extra compression garment, any support that you're gonna need from another person. At Exert Clinic, we actually provide a goodie bag that's got everything you need for the first 24 to 48 hours. You should also follow your surgeon's instructions on any medications you should take that morning. So at Exert Clinic, we give a antibiotic starting the day before, an anti-nausea medication, and then also an anti-anxiety medication to keep our patients as comfortable as possible during awake liposuction. Once you arrive at your surgeon's office, you're gonna be taken to that pre-procedure room. You're gonna sign some consent forms related to the procedure and your surgeon will explain everything. There'll also be photographs taken to monitor your treatment progression before you have that procedure. Your surgeon will also use markers to mark on your body uh, to guide them during the procedure. Every liposuction follows the same basic steps. Infiltration, disruption, and aspiration. So the first step, infiltration, is when your surgeon is gonna get in that liquid into the area that's gonna have liposuction. If you're having awake liposuction, it'll be mixed in with a numbing medicine and another medicine that's gonna constrict the blood vessels so that there's no bleeding during your procedure. After the solution has been injected into the area for liposuction, it's time for disruption. Fat doesn't like to come out easily, so you have to use certain methods in order to disrupt that tissue so that it comes out smoothly. Your surgeon may use a cannula with a disruption tip that's specially designed to break up fatty tissue, or they might use another device like Vaser in order to make all that fat nice and smooth. Lastly, aspiration. This is when you're sucking that fat out. So the surgeon is gonna use a long metal tube that's got a tip at the end that's open connected to a vacuum. Your surgeon is gonna use this instrument in order to suck out all of that fat. Some surgeons also use skin tightening devices after liposuction. These are radio frequency devices that generate heat under the skin. Your surgeon will use the same entry points as for liposuction to put in the skin tightening device. For liposuction with local anesthesia only, which is what is unique to Exert Clinic, you're gonna be taken to that procedure room and you'll be laying either on your back or on your stomach, depending on what area you're having done first. The procedure room may be very cold when you first walk in, but don't worry. As soon as you lay on that table, we're gonna bring you some warm blankets and warm you up. Once you're laying, this is when the fun starts. You can start breathing in that laughing gas that's gonna bring down anxiety and make you feel really good during the entire procedure. Your skin will be scrubbed with a special antibacterial soap that kills all the bacteria and preps the area for the procedure. Then your surgeon will drape the entire area with sterile materials to make sure that everything is super clean during the procedure. Once everything is clean and ready to go, we can start numbing up that area. The numbing is done with a special needle that goes under the skin and puts in that numbing solution. This is very comfortable for the patients because the fluid is shooting out and those pain receptors can't fire before the local anesthesia starts working. Once the area is completely numb, you'll only feel pressure and movement while your surgeon works. Your surgeon will make entry points using either a scalpel or a special punch biopsy tool that makes a perfect circle in order to get access to the fat. These entry points can either be closed with stitches or what we prefer is actually leaving them open to drain naturally. Instead of using drains with awake liposuction and express lipo at Exert Clinic, those entry points can drain all of that fluid and when you have your lymphatic massages, your massage therapist can use those entry points to let out all of that fluid. The next step is to disrupt and soften up the fat. At Exert Clinic, we use a special disruptor cannula that looks like a cheese grater at the tip. This cannula is gonna allow us to break up all of that connective tissue around the fat. Like I said, fat doesn't just like to come out easily. 
For the smoothest results, you have to do disruption first. Now the fat is ready to come out. You might notice that the room gets a lot louder at this point when you turn on the vacuum and that vibrating handpiece that's gonna help suck the fat out. Your surgeon will use a thin, hollow metal tube called a cannula in order to suck that fat out. It's gonna be connected to a vacuum and they'll be doing an in and out motion to get all of the fat in that area. The aspiration or suction portion will end once your surgeon feels that they've removed enough fat from the area. An expert surgeon knows that it isn't how much fat you remove, but how much fat you leave behind. What's left behind is what's gonna create those beautiful contours that you've been dreaming about. This may be the end of your liposuction procedure, or it might be time for a skin tightening device like Renuvion J Plasma. Some surgeons use these skin tightening radio frequency devices after liposuction in order to give the best results. At Exert Clinic, we use Renuvion on all of our patients in order to give them the tightest, smoothest results after their liposuction. If you're having a 360 liposuction or a BBL that requires multiple areas to harvest that fat, then if you start on your stomach, then it's time to put you on your back to get that next area. Your surgeon will now complete all of the same steps on the new side of your body. Once the procedure is complete, it's time to break everything down. Your surgical assistant and everyone in the room will start wiping down your body, getting out that fluid as soon as possible, and putting on your compression garment. You'll be taken to a recovery room where you'll wait about 30 minutes before you're allowed to go home. At this point, you can have snacks, drinks, and all of our patients are able to leave our facility walking on their own without any of that horrible nausea, vomiting, fatigue that patients tend to get after general anesthesia. So that's all about liposuction. That's what's going to happen on your procedure day. I hope you learned something new and call us at Exert Clinic if you would like more details on any of our Express Lipo Awake procedures.